All right, so let's consider the tension in an elevator cable for the following scenarios. Here's an elevator, has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, being held up with a single cable, and we're gonna try and calculate the tension force in the cable using the following scenarios. Uh, if the elevator is stationary, moving upward at three meters per second, moving downward at two meters per second, accelerating upward at 0.2 meters per second squared, and accelerating downward at 0.8 meters per second squared. So, the down force in this case is always gonna be mg. The up force is gonna be the tension cable, and there really are no other forces on this. There's nothing moving it, accelerating it in either direction, right or left. Um, it's only a vertical scenario, so we're only gonna consider the vertical. So, that being said, let's consider, let's look at our formula that will guide our thinking. The net force in the vertical sense is equal to whatever up force there is minus whatever down force there is. So simple enough, the up force is always gonna be the tension force so we can rewrite our equation and just say, since we're only dealing with a vertical situation, we don't really even need to imply that it's a vertical because that's all we're dealing with. So we can say net force, in this case, is equal to the tension force minus mg. And remember, the net force is what's actually happening. So. The thing is stationary, which implies that V is zero, acceleration is zero meters per second squared, meters per second. So let's consider just that first. So our net force is in the stationary sense, our net force has to be zero because our acceleration is zero. The acceleration is zero. Remembering Newton's second law, any force, so we could say net force, is equal to mass times net acceleration. Well, the net acceleration for a stationary elevator is zero. So the net force is zero. That means zero equals tension force minus mg, which is a thousand, kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which is equal to 9,800 newtons. So our tension force would be, our net force is zero, is equal to the tension force minus 9,800 newtons. So since this is equal to zero, tension minus 9,800, we're gonna add 9,800 to both sides. So 9,800 newtons is our tension force, okay? That considered, any situation where our net force is zero, where the acceleration is zero, that is to say, if it's moving up, upward at a constant three meters per second, acceleration is zero. And if it's moving downward at a constant two meters per second, our acceleration is also zero. So in this case, this case, in this case, the tension force is equal to 9,800 newtons. That would be for A, B, and C. So looking at the case where we have an acceleration, we're gonna accelerate upward at 2.2 meters per second squared. That's our net acceleration. So we could say our net force is equal to the mass times the net acceleration. And our net acceleration is 0.2 meters per second. Our mass is 1,000. So our net force, in this case, is 1,000 times 1,000 kilograms times 0.2 meters per second squared, which is equal to 200 newtons. So our net force of 200, we need to use that equation over here, net force is equal to tension force, that's up, minus mg, which is down. So our net force is 200, is equal to tension force, 
minus 9,800. And so we add 9,800 to both sides. That makes our tension force 10,000 newtons for scenario D. And looking at E, our acceleration downward is 0.8, so we're going to consider this to be a negative value. Upward is positive. So accelerating downward, our net force, let me write that in a different color just to make sure we're all square, is equal to 1,000 kilograms times negative 0.8 meters per second squared, or negative 800 newtons. So then applying that to this equation over here, net force is equal to tension force minus mg. That's to say the net force is equal to up force minus down force, like we established here. Our net force is negative 800 equals tension force minus 9800. So we're going to add 9800 to both sides. We're going to get a tension force of 9,000 newtons for E. Now this makes sense if you look at it. In order to hold this elevator stationary, completely stationary, no velocity, no acceleration, no, no anything, our tension force is going to be equal to mg. So it's going to be 9,800. It makes sense that if we're going to accelerate it upward, we need to be bigger than 9,800, and we are, 10,000. So in order to accelerate it downward, we should probably be a little bit less than 9,800, which we are at 9,000.